Yeah, man, how different is everything? I mean, it's a different world, right? Tell us about it. Yeah, I mean, everything's different just from like, uh, just from new teammates, new coaching, uh, the the culture, everything. Like, it's a fresh start, so good, everything. Good difference. good difference for sure. Uh, Tyrese, you've been there a long time. You've seen a lot now. How does it feel for you? Number one, how's your knee? Number two, how's everything feel for you? Uh, my knee feels a lot better um, just from weights, I mean, the coaching. Um, the culture's way different. Um, winning culture, it felt like a family. And I just feel like everything's just a lot different. Harry, how tough was that? Last year, you, you, you all played pretty good at the end of the regular season. Bryce had that big game against Stetson. Uh, how tough was that to come back from that and then move? You don't need to get a chance to play for the conference. Uh, in retrospect, how disappointing was that compared to other disappointments you've ever had in your life? Was that as tough as anything to deal with? Yeah, it was a very big disappointment. Um, I feel like you said we made a big run, and I felt like we would have made a run in the tournament. Um, yeah, I just feel like it was a very big disappointment. Kevin, I mean, you're going to play games in your, in, a, in your own city. I mean, it might, some of them might have been an E1F here, but the fact that you didn't have to travel, were you guys feeling pretty optimistic going into that tournament? Say that one more time. Were you guys feeling pretty optimistic given the fact you were going to be playing in Jackson? Oh, yeah, for sure, because, you know, we uh, – had the home crowd and uh, he, our games were here and at UNF. So just being like where we are, like always are, like home for us, that was going to be big. And we just felt like we had momentum going into the tournament. So for it to stop, it was a big disappointment to all of us because, you know, our our season just came to an end because of COVID, not because of the loss. Hey, so, so how's your world different, man? You were back on pain and you guys were playing all those guys. How's it different now? Um, Practice has been really competitive since I got here. Uh, banging it with pain in them. Uh, it, it's really just like coaching. I feel like uh, the coaches bring the type of intensity we have. We still have the same amount of intensity in practices here, and it's just channeled differently, whether it's in press or uh, rebounding. But it's been really good. It's been really you competitive. Coach means you're better on these other guys. You've done it long. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us something about that. Coach, these guys don't even know. These guys don't know? Yeah. These guys got to know them pretty long. Um, I've been with them since uh, about May 9th. We've been up here early, summer A, working on. So they got to know Coach pretty well, and he spends a lot of time investing in all of us, individual meetings. But uh, Coach is high energy. Um, he's standing on what he speaks on, and, uh, you know, he's a man of action, and he's really challenged us to be all become men on and off the floor. So. Coach, could you, if everything was the same, if Coach Vinci hadn't left Florida to take this job, I'm assuming you would not be here. Is that a, is that a correct assumption? Oh, uh, yeah, that's yeah, pretty much correct. So, yeah, that's okay. correct. Assumption. So, is your transfer here more about more playing time, or is it about your relationship with Coach Vinci, or both? Hey, I feel like they're all intermingled. It's um, they all uh, uh, both uh, correlate. Uh, Coach Mincy leaving and uh, my uh, situation at Florida, it just happened. It just happened to be perfect timing for for him to come here and get this position, and for me to come into a position where I can be a leader on the team and uh, instill the type of culture that he wants. So it's just perfect timing. How would you would you describe your relationship with Coach Mincy when you were in Florida as as pretty tight? Because you know assistant coaches a lot of times tend to form stronger relationships with players than they do with the head coach. I mean, it's, just, it's just natural. So could you talk about your relationship with him when you were at Florida? Um, at Florida, um, like I said, it's all, it's all, I feel like I believe in God. So I feel like uh, me and Coach Minson's relationship definitely did develop over the year. Uh, I had a close relationship with the whole staff, the big man coach, Coach Nichols. But uh, Coach Minson was the one who would ask me more personal questions, less basketball related stuff. He was more with the guards. So when we did talk, we would talk about uh, life, family, and where I'm from, and that kind of set the foundation for me coming here a year later. Can you have the Uh Yes, I was in the transfer portal like before, like when uh, our coach first got fired. So, what made you uh, just like I had good conversations with Coach Missy, just really talking about like becoming a better man on and off the court, and basically my vision was just really set up with what he had for this program. And I just felt like I could be very successful, like staying here. I didn't really want to leave just because I transferred once before. And then for Coach Missy to come in and just be as passionate as he was about getting his job and being so optimistic about us being successful, 
it was just really perfect for me to stay. So I just decided to kind of stay here, believe in his vision. Tyrese, uh, last year in the offseason, you know, and, and practice preseason was different. Uh, but this year you got all that. Has Coach Missy been you know, running harder? Has the conditioning situation been, been better? Uh, you know, how's, how's <coughs> one of his preseasons and his offseason compared to what you had in the past? I would say this preseason was probably the best preseason we've all ever – I've had and my previous teammates have had, anybody really, just because, like you said, just conditioning at 6 o'clock in the morning, just – it was hard at the time, but I would say, like, I know it's all going to pay off. So just from conditioning the weights, I would say the off season was very big. And a couple of newcomers, including the Seth you guys are going to be bigger. I mean, last year Bryce was the biggest guy you had. Third, third yeah. So, for a guy in your position, having a dress has to be something that's going to hurt. For guys in your position, what's it, what's it feel like to have that kind of size? I mean, something we ain't never had, <laughs> to be honest. Um, it, it should be fun, honestly. It's, it, like, yeah, it should be fun. It just helps me a, a lot. Like, it takes a load off because, like, you got size like Osai, Mike, like, all our bigs, like, they work hard, extremely hard. They're bigger. So, like, rebounding and just different things that you can do, the different things that they bring to the game, like, I haven't, like, really experienced playing with. So, being in practice with them and, like, you know, working on, like, lobs and uh, not have you know, just them, just seeing them work so hard to get rebounds, like, they get them a lot. So, it's just been fun playing with them. Maybe at this time of the year, here's the opening press conference, and everybody talks optimistically, right? Everybody feels like, you know, they've got, they've, they've got the team to be able to do some damage. Uh, when a new coach comes in, they talk about culture change and what have you. Uh, the bottom line is the, win, the, the wins have not been there, been there for this program for a while. Why do you think it's going to be different? Not necessarily immediately, but eventually. Just really because, like, he's kind of developed that. Like, our team is so competitive, and we all kind of developed, like, a chip on our shoulders. So, like, uh, we know that, like, being pre being picked preseason number 10 is, like, we felt like that was, you know, disrespectful to us. And we kind of, we like, we're ready to play and prove to ourselves, like, you know, we belong and we're one of those top players. So, just, like, we're just going to continue to work hard, and then time will tell. Tyrese, how would you describe the identity of this team right now? What kind of product is going to be on the floor? Family oriented product. I mean, I, I, I feel like this is the closest we've all ever been, like from previous years. And I just feel like when you, when you know, like you look to your side and you got your brother aside of you, it's just something that you can always feel good about. So I just feel like that's what's going to make us win, just how hard we all go for each other.